Hello students, welcome back once again to the mathematics class. In this class, I'm going to discuss with you exercise 6.2 of linear equations in two variables chapter 6 of class 9th. Right. In this chapter, we were dealing since two previous uh, video lessons, the introductory part and exercise 6.1 also we have dealt in our previous video lessons. Those who have not watched them, go to the channel playlist and click on that particular video which you want to observe. Now the immediate previous video, you can click it on the i card. Okay. Here we will continue exercise 6.2 here today. Now that uh, exercise 6.2 is dealing with the solutions of the linear equations in two variable. As we all know that the linear equation, what are the solutions? If I take the linear equation in one variable, one variable here, you find only one solution. The solution here we get it as x is equal to minus b upon a. Okay we get only one solution that is a unique solution for linear equations in one variable. But here we have linear equations in two variables. This is a general form, right? We have two variables. Now here, how many solutions we get? We get many solutions. For each value of x, we, we get a, another a particular value for y, okay? When you are substituting x is equal to zero, we get uh, y as something. Okay. And when we are substituting y equal to 0, x is something. Okay. And likewise, we can give any value for x and find out the value for y. So, we get many solutions for linear equations in two variables. That is the concept here that we are using in the exercise 6.2. Now, now let us quickly start the exercise problems here. Now, I have written the first one. Find three different solutions of each of the following equations. Okay. Here the first bit I have noted down. Now we will, what we will do? This is a linear equation in two variables x and y. Here we want, we should find only three. Although we have many solutions, let only three are confined here. Three different solutions we will find. Now how do we start? Let us apply in this equation. Let me substitute x is equal to zero. Okay. Let us substitute let x is equal to 0, I will substitute, okay. So, 3 into 0 plus 4 into y equals to 7. Now, that means 3 into 0 is 0 plus 4y equals to 7. So, 4y equals to 7 and y equal to 7 by 4. So, for value of uh, x, we got a value of y as 7 by 4, x is 0. So, we will write it in the ordered pair. So, how do we write an ordered pair? We write the x value and the y value in round brackets. This is an ordered pair. This is called the solution set. Solution set for this equation. Okay. Here, we got one. Let us find two more. Okay. Let us, uh, let we, let uh, y equal to 0. Let me substitute y as 0 here. So, 3x, let us substitute 5 into 0 equals to 7. So, 3x is equal to 7, x is equal to 7 upon 3. Okay, here this becomes 0, 4 into 0. So, here when I have substituted y value as 0, we got x value as 7 by 3. So, this is one of the solution set, two solution sets. And one more thing we will find out, let us take... Uh, simple values do not take bigger values so that the for the simplification you you find difficult so let me take x is equal to y now i'll substitute 3 into 1 plus 4 in 4y equal to 7 so 3 plus 4y equal to 7 so 4y equal to 7 minus 3 4y equal to 4 and y equal to 4 upon 4 that is 1 okay we got 1 as y. So, the ordered pair is 1 comma 1. So, here three different solutions are, we will write it therefore, the three different solutions are, so let us write the ordered pair 0 comma 7 by 4, 7 by 3 comma 0 and 1 comma 1. Although we have many solutions, but here we are asked only three different solutions. Please pause the video. Note Second it down. Y is equal to 6x. We will start this. So, we will bring it into the form of um, 
in the general form so that is 6x if this is go, goes there it becomes minus y equal to 0 so here this is the general form and we have to find different solutions let us start with x is equal to 0 let x is equal to 0 so 6 into 0 minus y equal to 0 so that becomes y equal to 0 so the ordered pair is 0 comma 0 now let us apply let y equal to 0 so giving zeros it to start with if you give zeros then you can get a, you can as well take 1 to anything okay so y equal to 0 6x minus 0 equal to 0 so 6x is equal to 0 so here we, we know we got this y x is equal to 0 means y equal to 0 we got so no need of doing this one okay this part because we got it as y equal to 0 so let us take another one x equal to 1 okay so that means here 6 into 1 minus y equal to 0 so 6 minus y equal to 0 minus y equal to minus 6 and y equal to 6 just 6 remove the negative signs both sides so the ordered pair is 1 comma 6 now let me take x equal to okay let us take y equal to 1 always y do we take one, x so y equal to 1 6 uh, x minus 1 equal to 0 so 6 x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 by 6 so the ordered pair is 1 comma 6 1 by 6 comma 1 so all these three solutions will write 0 comma 0 the second one is 1 comma 0 and 1 by 6 comma 1 not only this whichever value you apply you get that solution so any three solutions you can do there is no hard and fast rule that you have to take only these values of x these values of y okay now let us see the fourth one here i have not written the third one that is for you to practice okay so let, let us see the fourth bit here this is already in the general form so i'll apply x value Mm, substituting x value so let us take x value as 0 so 3 13 into 0 minus 12y v equal to 25 so this comes to 0 0 minus 12y v equal to 25 so y equals to 25 upon 12 so the, that is minus okay so with 2 we cannot uh, we cannot simplify further so that is 0 comma minus 25 by 12 so this is 1 so let us take uh, y equal to 0 okay so 13x minus 12 into 0 equal to 25 so 13x equal to 25 x value is 25 upon 13 so the ordered pair is 25 upon 13 comma 0 okay so simple values only we are taking simple uh, numbers only we are taking we are getting bigger values okay because that equation is that way okay let let me take x is 1 you can take y 1 okay start with the simple numbers okay here 13 let us substitute 13 into 1 minus 12 y v equals to 25 so 13 minus 12 y v equal to 25 so minus 12 y v equal to 25 here this goes minus 13 so minus 12 y v equal to here 12 isn't it so plus 12 so y equal to 12 upon minus 12 so minus comes up so that becomes minus 1 so we got the ordered pair as 1 comma minus 1 right so the three solutions are 1 2 and 3 so write it on pause the video and note it down if 0 comma a and b comma 0 are the solutions of the linear equations find a and b here here given they are the solutions here 0a and b0 so let us substitute them because they are the solutions they should satisfy the equation okay so let us substitute them and find out a and b here 0 comma a that means this is x and this is y isn't it so 8 into 0 minus a equal to 34 so 8 into 0 is 0 minus a is equal to 34 so a value equal to minus 34 right minus a equal to 34 a equal to minus 34 we got a value we will do even this is also a solution so b comma 0 is solution so this is x this is y we will substitute in this 8 into 
b minus 0 equal to 34. See in place of x and y I substituted b and 0. So 8b equal to 34 and b equal to 34 by 8. So this we can further simplify 2 fourths uh, 2 seventeenths right b equal to 17 by 4. So therefore a value equal to minus 34 b value equal to 17 by 4. Right. Let us see the second one here. Now we will substitute this 0 comma a is the solution given. So here 3 into 0 equal to 7 into a y value is a minus 21. So here 0 equal to 7a minus 21. So 7a equal to if you shift this this becomes plus 21 a equal to 21 upon 7. So that comes to 3. And here this is the solution b comma 0. So this is x this is y. We will substitute 3 into b equal to 7 into 0 minus 21. So 3b shift this 21. Uh, okay let it be there only minus 21. So this is 0 7 into 0. b equal to minus 21 by 3. So that becomes minus 7. So b value is minus 7. So here therefore a equal to 3 and b equal to minus 7. So please pause the video and note it down. Let's see the next one. The third one we will substitute 0 comma a. So this is x, this is y. 5 into x is 0 minus 2 into y value is a here. Right. Plus 3. So have substituted 0 comma a in place of x and y because that is given as the solution for this equation. So this becomes 0 minus 2a plus 3 equal to 0. So minus 2a equal to minus 3. So a equal to 3 by 2. We can cancel off negative signs. So here a value we got. Now we will substitute b comma 0 okay, in place of x and y. In the same equations 5 into x. So x value is b sorry 5 into 0 minus 2 into 0 5 into b minus 2 into 0 plus 3 equal to 0. So this becomes 0. So 5b is equal to minus 3 b value is minus 3 upon 5. So therefore a is 3 by 2 b value is minus 3 by 2 3 by 5. So note it. Pause and note it. Third one, check whether the following e is a solution of equation 2x minus 5y plus 10. Here, given the solutions here. This we have to check whether they are the solutions for this linear equation and two variables. Now, the solution, to check whether they are the solutions, in the x place what is given and in the y place what is given, that we have to substitute in the original equation. Here, this equation is 2x. Let me write down. 2x minus 5y equal to 10 in that. So we will substitute this. This is x, this is y. So 2 into 0 minus 5 into 2 equals to 10. So if that is a solution, it should satisfy the equations both sides. So 0 minus 10 equal to 10. Here, see here, minus 10 equal to 10. Now clearly these two are not equal. So it is not a solution. Check whether it is a solution or so it is not a solution. So let us write the point only 0 comma 2 is not a solution. Now let's see the second one 0 comma minus 2. So this is x this is y. So we will write the equation 2x minus 5y equal to 10. We will substitute. 2 into 0 minus 5 into minus 2 equal to 10. So this comes to 0 minus minus plus 10. So 10 equal to 10. So we got. Therefore 0 comma minus 2 is a solution. Right. Now the third problem I had left over for you to practice. Now here fourth one I had noted down. This value is x, this is y. We will substitute in the equation 2x minus 5y equal to 10. The equation here. Right. Here 2 
into 2 root 3 that is the x value minus 5 into here y value is minus root 3 equals to 10. Let us check here. Here 4 root 3 minus into minus plus 5 root 3 equal to 10. So this if you add you get 9 root 3 equal to 10. So these two are not clearly they are not equal. So therefore 2 root 3 comma minus root 3 is not a solution. Okay. Now in the textbook we have the fifth bit. I will no, note it down that also. So the fifth bit is 1, 1 by 2 comma 2. So is this a solution? We will check out. So 2x minus 5y equal to 10. So 2 into half minus 5 into 2 equals to 10. So 2, 2 gets cancelled. So 1 minus 10 equal to 10. So this becomes minus 9 not equal to 10. So therefore 1 by 2 comma 2 is not a solution we can write. So only what are the solutions this is only the solutions and all these three are not the solutions because they did not satisfy the equation. Now here the third problem I had left over for you to practice please note it down pause it pause the video always and note it down and with this we will end the class here and we will see the remaining problems of exercise 6.2 in our next session hope you have understood today's class thank you all.